Welcome to Diagnosing Unwell Fish 101. The first tip you want to work out if you see that you've got an issue in your aquarium is to work out if it's an environmental issue or a localised issue. Environmental issue means that it's something in the tank that's affecting all of the fish, or a localised issue is it's affecting one or two fish specifically but not the others. This will help you determine what your action plan would be. So we look at an environmental issue. If you get home, all of your fish are sitting at the surface of the tank and they're breathing very heavily. Probably means that there's not enough oxygenation or that the tank water temperature has gone up too high and it's not holding enough air. So we correct this by adding air and ensuring that the tank temperature gets lowered to a comfortable area. If it's one single fish that is badly beaten up or has damaged eyes, but the other fish aren't being affected, then we look at a localized issue, and this could be a high level of territoriality or a weak immune system, and we want to treat that fish specifically. So the number one step, diagnosing unwell fish 101. Work out if it's an environmental issue, so all of the fish are getting affected, and it's something within the environment, or if it's a localized issue, i.e. one of the fish is injured or damaged. So this will help you set yourself up for success. It is important to remember that just because it's a localized issue, it doesn't mean that water parameters won't play a role. So if the fish has a weakened immune system and it's being bullied by the other fish, it has a probability of being more susceptible to issues such as high nitrates, which would be causing an irritant. Um, a lowered mucus level of the fish could make it more susceptible to it and therefore an issue. So in our suggestion, it's work out if it's environmental or localized issue, but it's still a really important idea to always test water parameters. And that's everything from the pH to the GH, the hardness, as well as whether if there are any issues with nitrates being too high and irritating the fish, as well as nitrites and ammonia. Well, I hope this makes sense and I hope it helps you one step further towards diagnosing unwell fish. Thanks for watching.